Hey girl, hey. Um, I know you're a little choked that I made you talk about the all them politics, but um, I think it's good. You know what? Cause then it got you thinking, right? And that's that's good. It it matters that you vote because it's important that you have a voice, even if it's just a little voice. You're just one of many many voices, but together we can make a difference, right? So it's good that you got thinking. And <laughs> I'm sorry I made you do it on the internet. Um, you asked me what, I guess like, um, a five-year-old me would be proud of me, but I think more like what I wanted to be when I grew up type thing. Um, so when I was younger, my job things changed a lot. Um, at one point I wanted to be a doctor. Um, I also wanted to be a school teacher. And I also wanted to be an architect and an adventurer because that was a real job option that I could have. Um, but it didn't really, like, one didn't actually stick for a while until, like, it was probably about 10 or 11. And I wanted to be a writer. I wanted to be a writer so bad. And I wrote the most horrible things. They weren't they weren't good at all. Okay, so I wanted to be a writer for a long time and then it wasn't until I had graduated from high school and had been living on my own for a year that I finally decided that I truly want to help people and like wanted to make a difference in just one person's life. At some point in time in my life I wanted to could like to do that to change somebody's life for the better and like help my community so um yeah that was when that change totally happened but anyways if like five-year-old me was like just really wanted acceptance and people to care about me like I, I wish I had a thing that I'd written down but I had like a list of goals that I wanted to accomplish by the time I was 25 and like one of them was bake a wedding cake which I haven't done and the other one was to have something published which I did get done um, and there was another thing, I don't remember, I think getting to college, which I did that. So like, I think, I think five-year-old me would be okay with where I'm at. Um, I've always been big about the little people having voices and, and being heard. And so I think, I'm pretty sure five-year-old me would be stoked with where I'm at. I know 25 year old me sometimes hates where I'm at and struggles with all the things but it's all for the greater good, right? It's all, it'll, in the end, to quote Linkin Park, in the end it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but it does. It does because it's helping somebody. Like I'm, I'm good. I'm good with where I'm at and I think the five year old you would be very proud of where you are. Just. I think a five-year-old you understood the twists and turns that life takes and how you get led down different paths, I think she'd be pretty impressed because I know I am. You're pretty awesome. I might have to outsource this question. Hold on. Michael. Yes? Michael, we need a question to ask Tegan today. That's a different question. That's another question. Do you like hats? Um... Uh, do you like puppies? Why do you hate Eve so much? Would you take the one-way trip to Mars? That is a good question. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so the question that Michael asked was, if you could, would you take the one-way trip to Mars? And I know you already know this, but I totally would. I would love to be a part of that new creating of a new environment and like just like starting over again you know how you need you, you know like and I I love people and I love helping them but I'm so sick of people and the politics that goes with people and I know it would probably only be worse like being on a place with only 10 people but I would love to be a part of that like even if I end up dying at an early age or being abducted by aliens or destroying 
myself I don't know like I would just oh just to be a part of that that history would be amazing so if you could would you go to Mars like on a one-way trip one-way trip never come back again I could totally play Guild Wars with you from Mars It'd only be like a 14 minute delay I love you and I will see you tomorrow bye